Okay, I will not uh, tell you the questions. I uh, I refuse to. My, my hairdresser says that something's wrong. Yeah. I don't have a brush with me. Yeah, you look great, Inga. Yeah, you look great. Yeah. My hair is blue and yours is not, so yeah. It, it was raining. <laughs> is is blue hair okay? Oh, uh, tends to be a little yellowish and green. I'm not sure it's the best options. But well, thank you for being honest, at least. <laughs> you wanted uh, something yeah. natural. Yeah, that's mm. true. Uh, how are you? You just came to Paris from Finland. Uh, it's true, I'm arriving from Helsinki, yeah. where I have a, an exhibition at the Itala Design Center yeah. for the launch of my, the collection I designed for Itala. Yeah. Yeah. And also, this, uh, we, we display also some collaboration I had with other companies. And we are now today on almost on Swedish grounds. We are at the Swedish Institute here in Paris. Are you are you from Paris? I am from Paris. Yes. Uh, like the whole family is from Paris. We don't care about family. Uh, we are talking about me. I am was born <laughs> in Paris. <laughs> I was born in Paris, so I think I am from Paris. And I always lived in Paris, except one year in Rome. And how was that? It was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I think we should start, start with like um, an important and tough question. I'm sure it's a stupid one, so go on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was I was going through the the fair Maison Bier, and everyone. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I I liked it a lot, but oh, because you are not French, okay. Why don't you like it? Uh, first, wh why is it in uh, not in Paris? There is a big uh, fair yeah. which is totally empty in Paris, and it should be there. Yeah, but well, it was good energy. Uh, people were complaining about the level of the content, saying it was. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's exactly what I said yeah. before. So yeah. okay. Yeah. It's, so you think it's crap? I haven't been there uh, this year. It's been a while. I did not yeah. go. So, um, but what, 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 what are you up to now after the pandemic? I mean, everything has been closed for two years. Uh, what are you? What's what's happening now? Two years? You mean fairs have been closed? A lot of me we haven't seen people. So I have seen some few people yeah. because anyway, uh, uh, yes, work has uh, been going on, and anyway, there are very long processes. Right. So um, it's just a little more slow yeah. but it was already very slow yeah. yeah i know it takes like two years at least to make a new product but what's at the least. biggest yeah what's the biggest change now after the pandemic is it like processes or there's different questions or i guess the changes are more about the fact that uh, companies uh, uh, it's hard for them to hire people yeah. it's hard for them to get the material yeah. to do the things yeah, yeah, yeah. and they are worrying a lot about the energy yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so there are a lot of uh, yeah. do you think that the new like energy and and uh, inflation crisis is worse than than the pandemic can you compare uh, there is a big gas problem it was not before the pandemic so yes about the inflation I'm really not an economist yeah. But uh, we keep being told that there is a big inflation. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I haven't checked. I, I was out uh, eating lunch here in Paris, and the beer prices have gone up. I'm really not a specialist neither about beer. What was the price? Ten forty. But yes, but you drank too much. <laughs> it was too big. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, should get a smaller one. That's true. Yeah, true. Next time I get a smaller but one. You, you went yeah. to a wrong place. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Also, I'm Swedish. I like big beers. So. Yes, but you can have big beers without paying so much, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally true. That's mm. okay. But do you, do you like Paris? I mean, are you proud? I'm a proud Stockholmer. I'm from Stockholm, and I'm really, really proud from from my town. I don't understand why people are able to be proud about some things they haven't done, yeah. like being proud because uh, the sun is shining. I love Paris. Yeah. I I think Paris has many problems. Yeah. It's going uh, more and more towards uh, tourist, fashion, fashion industry has ruined Paris uh, and is ruining Paris with the luxury world which is so heavy, but uh, I love Paris. Do you have a favorite uh, part of town? Um, no, that's, that's really the 
the, the richness of Paris, that there are so many different places that uh, you use you, an atmosphere very different in each arrondissement. And in every uh, 20 arrondissements, there are always uh, different also places. So, no, I, I must say I love Montmartre. Uh, which is uh, ruined by the tourism, but there is just one street which you should avoid. But it, uh, it's beautiful. I love, uh, I love the 20s, where t uh, the tourists never go. I love the 13th, uh, where tourists never go. Do you think tourism is a problem? Um, tourism, tourism, yes, is always a problem. It doesn't make things better. Uh, has it? I was thinking maybe we could understand each other better. Uh, of course we can understand tourism, but I don't think that tourism yeah. improves cities. Yeah, yeah. It makes that people they keep renting yeah. on Airbnb yeah. and uh, it makes that people, that it's things are created for tourists and I guess the worst are the rich tourists mm. because there is a whole world dedicated to them and it's mm. always bigger. Mm. Um, let's talk about... Um, I, was I, I, I don't want to talk about it, but I'm still so curious, so that's why I need to talk about it. I want to talk about your Scandinavianism. I, it's so, it's like an open door. You're here talking to me, being from Sweden. Um, and the angle should be like, how many companies have you worked with from Scandinavia or in the Nordics? It might be 15. Yeah, yeah I was going to say 20. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. maybe 20. Yeah. I, w I began to work in Sweden. Yeah. Because I did um, my first lecture in my life was in front of 2,000 people in Stockholm. So then I became quite famous after that moment because there were so many people of the design scene. So I began to work uh, with um, Swedish companies and then it has led to work with Norwegian companies and then to Danish and now Finnish. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're just waiting for the Icelandics to call. <laughs> to Iceland, and unfortunately, there are not companies know, there. Yeah, there is not yeah. production. Yeah, yeah. neither. Yeah, but the good design scene. But I mean, the production is missing. So, yeah, um, I I love the chair. I mean, there are two things that I, I looking through your portfolio that I love. There's Swedish. I mean, the chair um, for Yashnes. It's called Österlen, right? Yeah, yeah. and also. The bookshelf they did for Davy Design. These are like old, old versions, old classics of Inga Semper. Yeah. Classic, no, because Davy Design haven't produced it at yeah. all, uh, yeah. so uh, it doesn't exist really. Um, and yes. but it got an award, right? It like it's got the furniture or the design of the year award in Sweden, if I'm not wrong, right? Uh, the shelf? Yeah. I don't know. I uh, I wasn't told about. Uh, I guess you not. did not receive a plaque. <laughs> no, I wasn't told. So uh, maybe I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yes. But no, you were the you were the designer of the year for the furniture fair ten years ago. I actually checked it up before I came here. So, uh, 2012. Uh, how was that? Um, it, it's uh, it's all it's 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 really important for a designer to to get promoted to have more work. Uh, and I must say that I never was designer of the year in France. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> But it's difficult. I mean, also now. Well, yeah. And uh, now in it's at difficult for me. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Mm. But do you work with? Do you want to work with more French brands? Is that what you're saying? No. Uh, I, they give the price to people that yeah. don't work for French yeah. companies. Yeah. Um, yeah. I work. Uh, I began since one year to work with more French companies, mm -hmm. and that's 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 mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do you have? When I looked at the portfolio. Um, There's so many lovely things. I don't want to talk about your aesthetics, but I mean, do you have any favorites? Is there like any design product that you feel special about? You mean feeling special about? What does it mean? I mean, okay, let's say, let's say, for instance, I when I look at the portfolio, I, I remember when I saw the the serving spoon for Alessi. I, the first time I saw that, I immediately fell in love with that. Also with the Yashnas chair. Um, do you have any things? Also the moustache lamp. I mean, yeah, yeah. You you f you fall a lot in love. But that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, It's a question that I'm. I, I Is it like your babies? You can choose. 
Oh, no, I would never answer something like that. Uh, but uh, I love the. Um, I always answer that I love the, this lamp that I did for um, yeah. Festberg yeah. because it combines all my interests my interest for objects, yeah. for lightings, yeah. for articulation, yeah. and small objects yeah. with a qu quite um, a big thing, uh, yeah. thought about the systems. Yeah. So I like it a lot. Yeah. But. Um, uh, you know, between the time you design an object and after it's released, it's, it's always m more or less three years. So then when it's released, you are in involved in other projects. So you, you, you're you very much worrying about what you are doing at the moment. So your love is divided. You, you're you kind of forgetting the project that is released and uh, you're more into what you try to do. But... I mean, I want to talk about the future again, and, and the way to have an open question uh, is sort of like, what should we focus more on? Don't say sustainability. I mean, you can if you want to, but what should we focus more on in design scene? Um, I, I, I don't have any plan to focus more on. Yeah. Um, in fact, I, I, I think I don't have a lot of ambitions. Just, um, I, I, I always wanted to design some objects. Yeah. Uh, I have the chance to design objects and uh, I just want to keep on doing that because anyway I have always chosen uh, um, to work with uh, very high-end uh, quality uh, companies so uh, my aim is not to produce uh, uh, 20 objects per year um, so I, I don't have any special focus on yeah. But I'm happy to work w more with French companies. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, because it's very hard for Scandinavian uh, uh, countries to understand that design is not uh, a high point for the French culture. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I know that French has a repetition, France has a repetition of being about culture always, mm -hmm. uh, but and not for design. Mm. So that's mm. why uh, it's hard for this French designer to work in France. Mm. That's why we keep working in Italy. We mm. always begin in Italy uh, and then the chance to work with Scandinavia. Uh, so that's why it's um, great to to be now, have the possibilities mm. to... That's good. Um, also, uh, we're closing up our, our, our 15 minutes. We have uh, two more minutes. And also, we need to talk about food. <laughs> do you like do you like food? Are you like a food person? I am a food person. Uh, yes, I am a, a tennis person. I, I am a, uh, yes. I didn't know you were a tennis person. No, no one knows because I'm very bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and no one has asked. Are you a tennis person? <laughs> no, neither. Unfortunately. So, and um, what kind of food do you like? Mm, I love the. Mediterranean food. It, I mean, from the southern uh, French cooking mm -hmm. to Italian one mm -hmm. uh, to the um, Lebanese, but I really love uh, Italian and uh, Provencal uh, cooking. And dessert? I'm, I'm crazy about ice creams. <laughs> you scream for ice cream. Um, if I would come to you for dinner, and this is me hinting that you should invite me for dinner, what would you make me for dessert? Um, yes, it's easy. <laughs> I I don't invite a lot of people to have dinner. I think it's very painful to cook. Uh, and I'm not a, a good uh, housewife. I'm uh, I'm not a cook either. I, I go to restaurant. I, I, yeah. In fact, I I'm not an evening person neither. So I um, you have breakfast and then yeah. Evening, I want to. Calm, I don't want to talk, so I won't invite you. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, that's it for our 15 minutes, Inga. Is there anything else you should have said? For, except for tennis. No, I would like to thank uh, Sweden to have uh, asked me so many times to yeah. collaborate and helped me so much for um, being able to work and uh, to do many things that I like. Sweden loves Inga. Uh, and that's a good uh, wrapping up thing, I think. Yeah? Yes. Are you done? Yes? And now off. <laughs>